on this episode of Fan Addicts. Hey, Walter, I'm Brian Kapanis. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. Looking forward to seeing your collection. Walter figures it'll take about $50,000 to start his museum. He's hoping Brian's appraisal of a few key pieces will help him know if he can achieve his dream. <laughs> wow. wow, that's great. This is just unbelievable. <laughs> Holy mackerel. We're in the merry old land of dolls, aren't we? <laughs> Very much so. So there's more even this way. <laughs> we got more? Yep. I thought we were done with the first room. Now we're in room number three. Coming up. One of these books that are out there sold for over $130,000. Mm -hmm. And bomb signatures in here, you're looking at at least $130,000. This is Very the good. book that started it all. By L. Frank Baum. So I, I paid twelve hundred. Oh, for, get out! No yeah. kidding. That's a great deal. Even like I said, even with some of the condition is issues on it too. One of these books that are out there sold for over one hundred and thirty thousand dollars. Wow. Now all we have to do is figure out if it has all the right characteristics, including the signature of L. Frank Baum. So if I open this cover mm -hmm. and Baum signatures in here. You're looking at least $130,000. That's a good start for a museum. Ready? All righty. Not there. <laughs> but still, OK. We know this is not a first state of the first edition, probably a second state. We've seen these books sell for a variety of ranges, and depending upon condition, can go anywhere between four to $6,000. And if you wanted to uh, insure it, I'd probably almost double that price, too. I've, like, tripled my money. <laughs> Here I have a garage sale find. Literally, um, a woman put online that she had these in her garage and that uh, she just wanted them gone. These are the printing blocks from the pictures in the original Wizard of Oz books. They were all of the images from the books that I grew up loving okay. and that I have in my very own collection. Check that out. Size is exactly the same. That's incredible. All right now, how many have of these? I have about 800 of these. 800? Yes. 800 of 800 these? 800 of these. Get the heck out of here. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Printer's blocks from Wizard of Oz have got to be worth. $50 to $60 a piece. So you're talking $40 to $50 a piece on these in a minute. Wow. Now wow. you do the math, and you're talking $16,000, wow. $25,000 worth of oh, stuff. Oh, wow. That's crazy. <laughs> it is crazy. <laughs> the printing blocks, oh my god. It was like Glinda came down in her bubble. It was like, I can grant all your wishes. <laughs> it was great to finally hear that I had made good decisions, and I knew what I was looking for. Walter would never sell his ruby slippers to open the museum, but he has duplicates of other valuable items that he could sell to reach his dream. Brian even had some ideas about how to still keep items that I sell in my museum collection. You can sell things off and people can lend them back to the museum on permanent loan to be able to raise capital. There's a lot of different ways to do it. These are the keys to my future. I can have my museum. I